This is why every single church needs to be on social media from a Gen Zers perspective. Hello, my name is Karis and I'm 23 years old, so I believe that makes me a Gen Zer. <laughs> I am also a social media coach and manager. I've been working with small to medium churches as well as brand new church plants for the past couple of years. And I've been helping these churches use the power of social media to reach the local and global audience and share the good news. So I wanted to make this video to talk with you about the importance of social media and why I believe every single church needs to be on social media. I know when it comes to social media, a lot of churches are on the fence. They either believe social media is a terrible, awful place and they don't want to be anywhere near it, or they do want to use social media because they see how powerful it can be. but. They don't know how, and they don't have a big media team on their church that knows how to do social media well, which is why I actually do what I do. I own a company, Socials Simplified, and my goal is just to make it as simple as possible for every single church to be able to use social media. So that being said, why should every single church be on social media? Number one, According to the Pew Research Survey that was conducted recently in 2023, over 90% of young adults are on some sort of social media platform every single day. So a church choosing not to use social media is like a church saying, yeah, we don't really wanna reach 90% of young adults who are on these platforms every single day. We have the opportunity as a church to reach people where they're at. And right now, according to the stats, we can 100% be reassured that people are on social media. This second reason kind of goes hand in hand with the first um, reason, but if you want to reach the younger population, you have to be on social media. The old form of church marketing is not going to resonate or reach this younger demographic. For example, I know a lot of churches do advertising of upcoming events via brochures or mailers and the younger generation is just gonna look right past that. I hardly ever even open my mail unless I know for sure it's from somebody I know. So I end up like throwing my mail away all the time. Is it a good idea? I don't know, probably not. But all that to say, if you want to reach that generation, you have to show up where they're at. And again, that is social media. And I keep saying if the church wants to reach the younger generation, they need to be on social media. But social media actually helps you reach multiple generations. The average Facebook user is 40 years old. That is not necessarily the younger generation. So your church being on social media gives you the opportunity to reach multiple generations. The other reason I believe every single church should be on social media is because it is one of the fastest way to grow your congregation. Now, I don't believe that you should just be on social media to promote your church. I believe you should be using social media to do ministry. It's not just a way to get people to come to you, meaning you shouldn't have to make people wait until Sunday to be ministered to. They shouldn't have to come to your church for their church to make an impact in their life. So as a church, you being on social media and actually providing valuable content throughout the week, that is you being the church. That is you ministering to your community throughout the week. But what happens when you use social media to show up in people's lives every single day, not just on Sunday, is that they're more likely to come to your services on Sunday if they've seen you pop up all over their social media throughout the week. One of the pastors that I've worked with, he does such a great job of engaging with his audience. So every time they get a new follower, he will message him or his wife will message him and just say, hey, thanks for following along. We'd love to invite you to come join us, but if not, totally okay. And about 90% of the time, he will get a message back. Sometimes they'll say, no, thank you. But most of the time they will say, hey, actually we're fairly new to the area. We would love to visit. What time is your service? And so just through Instagram DMs, he's been able to 
personally invite so many people to come to their church. And I think that's pretty amazing. And this ends up leading to so many great connections. For example, one of the churches I work with, the youth pastor and the worship director were both just Instagram followers at first, but because the pastor messaged them and introduced himself, they ended up becoming a part of the church staff later on. So all that coming back to the whole point of social media as a tool and the church not using it is really detrimental to the impact you can make as a church. And lastly, every single church should be on social media because that is one of the easiest way to be able to share the good news with people. We live in a world where so many young adults and regular adults are feeling a lot of pressure, a lot of anxiety, depression, just a lot of problems. There's so much toxic and negative content on our phones every single day that we are consuming and the church has this great opportunity to be somebody that provides positive and encouraging content. You have no idea how seeing something uplifting can change a person's entire day. And your church has the ability to do just that by simply choosing to use a social media. Now you might be thinking, okay, that sounds great in theory, but how do we implement it? Don't I have to hire an entire social media team? We're a small church. How do we add another thing to our plate? Which is exactly why I do what I do. Most of the churches I work with are like church plants. They're a two-man team <laughs> before they get their volunteers in place. And we've still been able to use social media to do some tremendous work. So I did social media managing for a long time. And after doing that, I realized Man, I can't help everybody. I was having to turn down clients because it was just getting a lot for me to manage it. But I realized, wait, why can't I just teach the church to do this on their own? Every single church has volunteers and there's a lot of volunteers that can figure it out. They can learn how to do social media. They just need the, the basic trainings. And so I put together an eight week course that teaches you everything you need to know to be able to run your church's Facebook and Instagram account. I, I talk about those platforms the most because I believe those are the only platforms churches should start out on. If, if you're a small to medium church, I don't think you should be wasting your time on the other platforms just yet. If you can just get on Facebook and Instagram, you can make a huge impact. So you can check out that course. I also do coaching alongside it. It's over on my website. I'll have it linked in the description down below. But I'm just here to let you know that there are a lot of resources out there that will be very helpful in helping you run a successful social media platform for your church. And it doesn't have to be a huge extra added work. If you find somebody that knows what they're doing and have done it for a while, they should be able to help you simplify the process so that anybody on your team can handle the task of running your church's social media. All right, that is all I have for you today. Actually, I have one more thing. I do have just a, a freebie download that you can download right now. It's just a social media starters kit. So just a little bit of an overview of what all you need to know to get started on social. So that's completely free. You can go to my website, socialsimplified.com and get that, which will also be linked down. And if you wanna stay in contact, don't forget to subscribe and you also can go follow me for daily tips and advice over on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Socials Simplified. I'll have everything linked down below. All right, that is all. Thank you for watching and best of luck with everything. Bye. <laughs>